My cameraman husband and I have always believed that walking is the best way to discover and enjoy a country's most beautiful places. We also believe that we would still be tramping the Tyrol months later if we didn't have the help of the sleek red Austrian trains and a not quite so sleek rental car. The Tyrol region in the west of Austria is one of the most beautiful destinations in all of Europe. Known mainly for its superb winter skiing, its fabulous alpine scenery and picturesque towns and villages beckon the visitor all year round. Tyrol is the most mountainous part of Austria. So everywhere you go you see beautiful mountains, a beautiful landscape, beautiful villages and it's uh, for people who really want to go either want to be active, they want to do walking, they want to go cycling or in winter skiing or they just want to relax and sort of switch off their hectic lives and get rid of the stress and it's a very very relaxed lifestyle. The Austrian rail network in the Tyrol is quite comprehensive and serves many of the places we intend to visit in this fabulous region. So we've decided to buy a rail pass from VVT, Tyrol Travel, and use the railways whenever we can. There is quite an assortment here. A modern little city tram from Innsbruck takes you on an unlikely journey through forest and mountain meadows. A space-age designer funicular whisks you high above the city. And we know what you really want to see. Some noisy and fabulous steam engines which rumble and rattle along the beautiful Zilla Valley. Or venerable little narrow gauge trains clanking, huffing and puffing their way to the Aachensee, the Tyrol's oldest resort. When Dave and I were researching this fabulous region, we came across this book, Tyrolly and June, by Australian author and broadcaster Nina Murdoch, written in 1935. We just had to buy it. We've come to the Tyrol in June also, and we thought it might be interesting to compare her pre-war travelogue with what we find on our visit. Nina toured Europe unaccompanied, quite rare for a woman to do so in those days. She gathered material to write not just this travelogue, but two others. Inspired by Nina's journey, we tread in her footsteps around Pertisau on Lake Achensee, through the Stubai Valley and the city of Innsbruck. What are you waiting for? This perfect place to come to. Uh, you've got daily flights in the winter, you've got two times a week flights from the, uh, in the summer to Innsbruck. You've got hiking, you've got mountain biking, you've got culture, you've got shopping. Everything that your heart desires is here. If you want beaches, you need to go somewhere else. You can find travel details and advice on footloose.tv.